I try not to use paper towels for anything. I, again, I have them, but I use them really judiciously. But At Jess just Johnson's house, reducing waste so starts with like buying that, less actually, or you can and reusing what you already have. This is an example of I'm reusing something from Costco to store my rhubarb. And Johnson chooses glass over plastic whenever possible. And she doesn't and throw away what she can't eat. I it's frozen. Say, I do a lot of canning. Even dried for later use. Just other examples like Jensen's I, efforts go I beyond her kitchen. And I get the big jugs and I refill these little ones. From and shampoo these, in the bathroom to this in the laundry. Like I, and then I even save like my toilet paper rolls and my lint. These are great fire starters. She says the lint stuffed here, rolls are I, I perfect for lint camping. Lint but I say that's going camping this weekend. another level. <laughs> Johnson does her best to reduce, reuse, and recycle, but she doesn't go it alone. I need help. I can't do it all myself. Um, she depends no. on a network of friends. You could talk about the wood chips. <laughs> One for each kid, Courtney so. Munson lives but, just you know, a couple yeah. blocks away. I have a lot of kale just because it does so well. Munson has turned her lawn this into a is, lush garden that um, produces more so than her family can use. This is like my giveaway lettuce garden and you let it get about this high and then you can just go through and snip it. Munson doesn't buy a lot or waste a lot. Scraps go in the compost or directly to the chickens. These are our girls. And she makes a point of sharing with neighbors and friends. You trust that things will come back to you. So These two say working together beans. as a community makes it easier to live the values they both share. Lauren Maxwell, KTVA 11 News.